Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. I'm going to go over text today in Final Cut Pro and actually I don't use Final Cut Pro for text, I actually use motion because I have a lot more control. But if you only have Final Cut Pro or you want to learn just how to do it in Final Cut Pro, um, it's very important and it's it's a great, you know, if you don't have time to do motion, I would, I always use, I use Final Cut still a lot for my text, but motion's easier. Um, let's say uh, I have a clip here a couple clips here and I want um, maybe we're gonna say Final Cut King presents or something like that um, come up to your video generators tab which is this button with an A on it click it go to text and there's a bunch of different op options we have a crawl um, play around with these lower thirds to find out what they are uh, your scrolling text you know for end credits kinda of stuff typewriter types on but for now I'm just gonna use a regular text and when I do that this this box in my viewer says sample text. This is actually defaulted to 10 seconds right here. You can change the number by saying if I want it four seconds, let's say three seconds, 300. That's three seconds. Um, there I have a sample text. If I drag this in here, I have three seconds. I'll trim it down a little. It wants me to render. That's okay. Uh, sample text. It's right there. That's what you see here is what you get. Now if I want to edit this, I come here double click make sure it's selected that's a something a lot of people forget is not selected and they do all their controls come to your controls tab click and we have all these options here um, this is your text where you type it so I'm gonna back out so you can see what happens when I type it here it should uh, after a couple of seconds show up here so you can see what you're doing and it's really nice so I'm gonna type in Final Cut King and I'm not going to present yet because the problem is, in Final Cut, the reason I use Motion a lot is because in Final Cut, I can't have complete control. If I want King um, smaller, it will make everything smaller. So you can't, you have to do it separate if I want Final King and then Presents. Okay, so I have Final Cut King here. And you can see it updated in here. Now, I don't like it in the center. That's not very artistic in this, in this shot I'm doing. And I kind of want to, in the lower, I'm going to go with lower left. And I'm going to move it by clicking this little origin button. This is crosshair right here. And you can also type in your points if you wanted, if you know the actual points. I never did good in math, so I don't know the exact points. But you'll see them change as I drag it down here. I'm going to have Final Cut King come down here. Important thing to know when you're doing text is if you come up to um, this image and wireframe button, you can say show title safe, and it shows you. You know, for television, this is your line. So to be safe to know it's not going to be cut off on any screen, you can stay inside here. And uh, so that'll keep if you want to know where your title safe is. Final Cut King. So I have that. Make sure this is selected. Controls. Now I have uh, a couple things I can do here. I can come into my uh, fonts and pick something that matches the mood. I have a size panel here, so I can switch this and make it really big and as I do that you can also see it change. I'm gonna make it smaller right about there. I'm gonna go with Copperfield or I could actually impact would be cool right? Let's find impact. Uh, not quite the style. I'm gonna go with Copperfield or copper plate. Excuse me. There we go. Okay Final Cut King. And I'm actually gonna move that up a little because we're gonna have presents. So Final Cut King I can change it to bold here. I could change it to italic, bold italic. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. I'm going to go with that for now. Uh, tracking. You can make them really spread out. You could also keyframe the tracking. So I think we'll have a whole nother tutorial. That's another tutorial on keyframing text. Um, but if you want to get ahead, start, you know, right here, your keyframe buttons. I've done that in another tutorial, so go look at those for keyframing. Um, leading aspect, play around with these, you can figure out what they all do. Um, color, if I want to change the color I come up here, say Final Cut King is going to be kind of a, let's go with the kind of a, okay that's not good, I'm going to undo. Um, I'm going to keep it white for now. Now 
I want to drop shadow behind this. So if I had, you know, if this was not as color corrected, I color corrected this more dark. But if it was white, you wouldn't be able to see final and then part of the king. So I'm going to come to the motion tab and click drop shadow. And you see when I do that, it pops up a drop shadow. But I can open this tab and uh, make the offset, you know, different. Or I can also add softness. I, I usually always do some softness and pull it out this way. Okay, that's fine. Now, I'm actually going to do, I want, I like this exact, exactly how I have it. So what I can actually do is just take this copy, paste, and drag it above. So you can't see it's, it's double right now, but I'm going to move it. I have it selected, move my origin down, and I'm going to simply do presents. Dot, dot, dot. Um, sure. And I'm going to lower the size because presents is usually always smaller. For some reason it's not there, it is changing. Okay. There. Simple text. It comes in, cuts out. For this style of film, um, I think it would probably be better if I didn't fade it in. I could fade it in. Come to my effects and my favorites. I have a, let's see, I have a cross dissolve, cross fade. And you can kind of play. I'm not going to go through this, but come through your uh, video transitions and see. You know what would work in your in your style of film, so and that's really important when it comes down to text. I see a lot of text in movies, um, even Hollywood movies that aren't like matching what the style is. Um, but you know, I mostly see that on YouTube and all the video sites, independent films. So make sure you know it's important. Text adds a huge difference. If it doesn't match, you can kind of tell, and you just it, you lose focus a little bit. So help it complement your film. That's my tip complement your movie. So there's a text tutorial. I'm going to go in depth later on keyframing, um, having it come down and do some tracking which you see in movies. So I'll go through that in a later tutorial.